the Spanish outlets are decent. The one in Parma is pretty good. Pa Parma's a really nice city. Well, the thing is with Parma, once it gets shipped in, yeah. uh, once it gets shipped into Mallorca, imagine how much it costs to ship it to another outlet. Oh, so right. everything I've goes to the outlet in Parma. But Parma's a lovely city. It's got loads of streetwear shops. It's obviously got your Gucci, your Prada, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Carhartt. It's got a car heart. It's mm -hmm. got a car heart outlet. Nice place. Okay. I definitely recommend Palmer for a little holiday slash streetwear but shopping <laughs> spree. That's the thing, though, is in like wherever we go, destination wise, there's always trying to like, how can we make a video? How can we do yeah. that? How many, how many territories would you say you've you've hit outlets in today? Oh man, oh, we we when we went to Japan, we rented a car and drove four hours to hit a uh, to hit a Gotemba Premium outlet, which is the biggest outlet I've ever seen. That's probably dedication. Like, there's yeah. like two, three hundred right shops in this outlet. Right food, so yeah. we drove two hours to there, then we drove another two hours to a Montbell outlet. Yeah, that, that looked sick. It yeah, was cool. That looked it was sick. cool. Real. And but then obviously a four hour drive back, but there's no speed cameras or speed limit really on what, in what, Japan. What was the car? Was it, was it was a Subaru. A Subaru, Subaru with a little, uh, you know, yeah, it, it was rapid to nice. be fair. Nice. It, it, it was cheap to rent as well. Yeah. I definitely recommend it because it's a nice day out. You get to see Mount Fuji. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's nice. But one. it's the point where not many people are willing to do that. No, willing yeah. to go, we'll get up at whatever, eight o'clock do this and then go to another place and then drive yeah. all the way like oh yeah we, we set off at like 7 a.m and got back to the hotel yeah. at like 11 people aren't willing to do the, no. the hassle of yeah. this but for us it's we just fun. love it we yeah. love the game you're only you're only, you're only got the hotel to sleep in right it's like it's exactly yeah. man. Exactly. what's the point what's the point so, yeah yeah we but just love it the the rush that you used to get when you run into an outlet and you'd see five pairs of tns on the shelves for oh, 50 quid a pair it's the yeah. best yeah i mean i think we've all got you know outlet stories that we hold on to yeah i mean Meeting a group of friends like back in the day, we always used to do. Um, we used to go and do Freeport, Bain, Braintree, and then we'd go down to Clacton. Yeah. And we'd do that run, and we, we, we picked up good stuff all the time. And yeah. the, Cla the Clacton outlet was the JD outlet. So oh, you got. Yeah, so you got. Yeah, there was one in Brumwell. Though. So you got all like the. Oh, that was footlockers. You got all the yeah, like, size fun. overruns and stuff like that. Like I, I remember picking up Dave White nineties and ones for like fourteen quid. Damn. We had like three or four pairs. What, and made, what's made your best deal from an outlet? Would you say? Yeah, probably that. Probably that. Yeah, because mm. we made like three fifty, four hundred quid that's yeah, that's nice. per shoe. For, yeah, for I've had. I mean, I've had some great. Yeah, yeah, yeah great us too, man. Us too. We've had, you know. But the, the shoe, the shoe quality in just normal factory outlets just fell off so hard yeah we used to yeah, get a lot unless of you were there grades. on the day stuff came in you just never see anything oh good. no, the no. Go you have to go every day so yeah. or yeah. even oh know someone yeah, yeah. For, for me so i'm in cambridgeshire so in between cambridge and peterborough a place called uh, just outside of hunted and called ramsey my nearest any nearest outlet is a good hour away Damn. yeah that's, 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 a, long. that's a long we time. were lucky yeah. i was with 20 minutes from well, our house hatfield gallery is probably the closest and that's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's small yeah. it doesn't yeah. get a lot it's the clearance stores that are key. Yeah. Well, yeah. they used to be anyway. Yeah, back they used yeah. to be. Yeah, we well, used to do, um, when I was in Newcastle, there used to be one at... Um, Royal Keys. Royal Keys, and then it moved to uh, Durham, didn't it? Yeah, the, I think they... I, I used to hit that. They also had one at... Um, they had a good good one at... Um, Durham. Dur Durham? On, on a see him. On, okay, Durham, see him. I don't, yeah, I'm not familiar... Down, down the A19, see him. I'm not familiar with that one. It's an outlet village. Okay. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. But yeah. Fair. Yeah, footwear, yeah, footwear you know, again, like you say, if you're going every day, it is a struggle. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think the, yeah. Be the best And thing they're just not as cheap as they used to be. Oh, price I mean, I'm, I, but I'm used to, when, when I think outlets, I think of the first time I ever saw an outlet yeah. in <coughs> Florida as a 12-year-old you know, yeah. yep. getting trainers to bring home. That's an outlet to me, and like, everything was dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. cheap. But even uh, over time, you know, even in America, you notice they would just get... The, the really gap between it. retail and outlet just yeah. getting closer and closer. Well, shoes, when we first started, I think Air Maxes were 55 and you'd get student discounts, so they were £49.50. Oh. And then they jumped up to 70 quid for Air Maxes and everyone was like, whoa, this is so expensive. Oh, really? But even at 63 quid after student discount, it were nice. Especially, like, we, we've picked up uh, Jordan Wood, Nigel Sylvester's uh, acronym Air Forces. PlayStation Air Force. Placed it. React Element to the oh. when, they, when yeah. they were like the Do you remember that? Yeah, they when were they popping the sale, the sale colourway. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a oh, Pat oh, Air Max Span friend and families. I got a yeah. boy betting a. Uh, they did a five a side charity yeah. event with Sidemen. I've seen the reel with it on. Yeah. yeah, and they did a. The boy betting her team had a, a certain amount of jerseys or whatever. I managed to get a sample of one for 12 quid the from the outlet. And I'm a massive skeptic. Like yeah. skeptics, I love skeptics. One of my favorite. You've got, you've got them on. You've got the scopes on. Yeah, well, that's it, man. That's it. But um, yeah, picking that up, that was a good. Yeah, that was a nice one.
Yeah. That was a yeah, nice all one. Sorts, like, these are the ones I can think of, but we've had yeah. over the years. I golf shoes. Golf shoes. Well, I'm, a, I'm a golfer. Oh, yeah. oh we used to get yeah, never, Jordan, never like, Jordan 11 yeah. golf shoes. Have you seen the money in those early, early golf releases? Yeah. yeah. I've got the, the first first round Jordan 1 highs uh, yeah. golf shoes with the free sole. Like a grand out there now, I bet. Four figures are crazy. Yeah. yeah. Have you still got them? Golf shoes yeah, and that. They're, they're, they're literally the, my favourite pair to play. Get them yeah. flipped, man. In it, they were used to be ten pound fifty golf shoes, and when yeah. you used to get Jordan ones selling them for three, four, five hundred quid. Yeah, it was mental. Got, I got a pair of Jordan three cement, uh, white cements. Yeah, I've got. I got, got them for ten quid, and that's I sold them to America for four fifty. Poof, come on, like and that. It, and but the, like, the other thing that's that, just one pair. That's from a, like a yeah. thirty day haul, a uh, uh, thirty pair haul. <laughs> Yeah, because obviously you might get one pair of Jordans, but you pick up, you know, like Vapor golf shoes for ten pound yeah. fifty. Yeah. You're getting fifty, sixty quid on eBay like that. So I've got a guy on Facebook that's that's yeah. up your way, and he he obviously get he goes to to the clearance outlet for the Nike stuff. Yeah, and the, you know, and he's like the only guy that's getting Nike stuff from yeah, out yeah, yeah. online. The Adidas like, outlet used to be decent any, as well. In any of the ones I go to, they're they're never. They're quite rare these days. If you yeah. find golf, you're like, oh, yeah. that's pretty rare. When Adidas used to get sample deliveries that were nice, I once got a Spezial jacket that one of the Gallagher's wore for a concert. It cost me 13 quid. It was like uh, white white mountain engineering, I think. Yeah. Something like that. 13 quid sold 350, same day. Just Oof. crazy stuff. But we, we've seen Alexander McQueen collabs. There's been Yeezys in these samples. Yeah. Uh, and the you samples know, it can only be so much. You know human races? You yes. Know, like, yeah. when, when they were like the yeah. biggest thing. The, the, N- the, the NMD per- one? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, friends yeah. and family, the purple yes. one and the pink ones, they what, came through. What the fuck? And, but they were like se- seven, eight bags at the time. Christ. So you're like, how is that even possible? But I tell you what, one Christmas Eve, that Nike outlet got Sean. three pairs of Sean Witherspoons and probably 20 pairs of Atmos Air Max 95s, you know, the pony hair and that, what and the, the ones yeah. on Christmas Eve. I managed yeah. to get a pair of the 95s, but obviously the Sean's. Sean's are 49 quid. And an even bigger story. <laughs> Do you remember the yeah. off white Jordan 1 EU exclusives? The, yeah, the yeah, white yeah. Ones. the white one. That mm-hmm. Nike outlet got 30 pairs of GS pairs because we were all stood outside the shop and all the staff were turning up who weren't working that day. <coughs> Walking in and coming out with bags. Yeah. And they were 30, 30 quid, but obviously Nike get 44% off, don't they? So they were buying 30 pairs of GS Jordan 1s for like nuts. 20 quid or whatever. Mm. But if you check StockX, they were like 1,500 quid, 1,500 quid, 1,500 quid. Check the next day, 500, 600, 500. So obviously yeah. they Crushed were the flipping yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. But just to see that sort of stuff come through now but that was the beauty of hash which they don't get anymore because of brexit yeah mm. so it kind of did ruin the game and i fell out of love with it because when you go in every day and getting nothing it's just What's the point? waste it's almost gambling at I that think point then and then again you've got the layer of staff to go through as well yeah yeah, yeah. 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 F- and, and the staff again, started to get they, more they clued up as well days yeah. before they were not the I staff f- would copy the bolt buyers they'd see all those grabbing yeah. stuff and then they'd not I let it go in out. Their staff pile. I feel the the sweet spot of the outlets is identifying one where people don't have a clue. Firstly, yeah, yep. where people aren't really <coughs> going to go in, and then hitting the nail on the head with the staff. And the staff are like kind of just there as a job. Yeah. yeah. So uh, New Balance, Dalton Park. I had like a two year run of hitting that daily. Nice. Dalton yeah. Park. That's the same. One. Yeah. Okay. Dalton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I know yeah. the night they're closed. Yeah. But uh, I had a two year run of going there, and this was when New Balance was bubbling. Mm. Yeah. It was like when it was like, it was like people had. People had an interest in like made in UK, so like 991s, yeah. in uh, made in USA, so like 990 V4s, mm-hmm. and um, they had like they had black pairs of v- V4s, which are like 220 quid retail now, yeah. and I was, um, I think they were like 53 quid, nice. and uh, after like a week or two ago, and I just got chatting to the staff, and I managed to get 30% off. Damn like nice. staff discount on top. Well, doesn't the manager of New Balance have the power to be able to order stock in from yes. the warehouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we we recently went to a New Balance outlet and we saw the basement two thousand two hours. Yeah, you know the, they were only size five and a half or whatever. There's not much money to be made on them. But um, yeah, we started talking to the manager. And he was like, "Yeah, I can order pretty much any pairing I want." Yeah, which is pretty bad. So I take right. advantage of that if after, I were a manager. 100%. After like going for a couple of weeks, I managed to like unlock this thirty percent, and then I went every day. I'd like. <laughs> I'd go, I'd take photos of like what they had, I'd go mm. in the stock room, I'd take photos of like the, the shoes and I was like, okay, you know what, this is this is what I've got to play with. Yeah. No one else is gonna go there, no one else is gonna buy these. So I was in essence like drop shipping. Yeah. yeah I was drop shipping like from the New Balance outlet. Wow. And it was like I was selling them for like say I bought a pair of shoes for like 40 quid I'd sell them for 100 yeah. and I was getting the 100 Imagine. quid before I'd even bought them yeah, there's yeah, not a good. better feeling than walking into an outlet and selling something before yes. you've even paid for yeah, it yeah I know like there used to be there were once a day in that outlet where there was probably 
200 pairs of Element Reacts, but <clears throat> before they were so cheap, they were so expensive. Like the sales were 300 quid, the black and whites were 220, and because they came in a red normal box like that, you could just box transplant it with a hairdryer, peel the label off, use an old box, stock exit before you've even left the shop which was just the best yeah. feeling ever. I used to do it with football boots as well. I had a guy in Malaysia that used to buy, you know, the really bottom tier football boots. He used to just buy and pay me 10, 15 quid on top of pairs. I'd buy 30 pairs and he'd pay me before I've even left the shop, yeah. which was the way I managed to get enough money to start buying stuff to sell myself because mm. I used to have to stand in shop. Didn't have enough money to buy them in my bank account. Stand in shop, wait for the PayPal from the Malaysian guy then buy them and then just almost carried on doing that for a few months until I had enough money to I actually think, you know what though I think I think everyone's been I've definitely been there before I've like yeah. I've been in the queue for shoes and I've been like you know what I don't have the <laughs> I, like when I was younger I might not yeah, have the yeah, fucking bread I might not have the bread to buy these but like it's you know what if I, can, <clears throat> if I can shift them before yeah. I can get in the shop yeah, yeah, yeah. even better and yeah. I feel like that was we, we've, we've spoken it quite a bit like the glory days like first come first serve oh. and the, the real like hustle and like hunt of like going to outlets and like shopping brick and mortar yeah, yeah. I think it's like I, I think it's it's go, it's definitely gone now will yes, it ever come back I'm not sure yeah. but I feel like you see like a lot of these discord like cook groups yeah, the cook groups like yeah. coming up and like these like daft reels I see on Instagram where it's like day in the life of like an outlet reseller yeah. and I'm like yes. I'm like old, I'm like I, I'm not like saying this to cause offence but like ultimately you, you don't really have a clue no. and it's like someone's like led you to this whereas like people like yourselves are like you are like well, well, tuned in we didn't used to tell in. any of our friends Mate, I anything either. because we wanted to keep it as low key yeah, as possible if we start posting about it online it's, it's game 10 over 10 people are going to turn up the next day and that gives you 10 less chance of picking you, something up you don't want to blow up the spot no, exactly That's well, well yeah if you look at the, well, what they're like day in life of a what is it uh, out the reseller, <laughs> what they're getting like is the stuff that I've been leaving for years. Mate, you know what I mean, yeah. it's just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, it is. It's just like, literally. How are you making money from that? As from someone from my my point of like view, the, the, the dri they're driving like an Audi RS3, 20 miles to the outlet. The, the like pay, it'll be pissing yeah. petrol, and yeah. then they're like they're buying shoes that can make like 14 quid profit but, on. And, uh, and I've like I I've bought, ten, I've, I've bought 10 long. pairs. I've made 140 quid. Well, you haven't because no. it's like they need to sell. Yeah, and they're not they're not shoot if the if Nike can't sell them on the outlet to a general consumer who's going to walk in how are you going to sell them like on an ebay or a depop I, i've got yeah. a pet peeve of that where they always you know they always seem like show the the screenshots they have an ebay uh selling like oh they've sold for 70 quid you're like you know bought for 40 you've made 30 quid i'm like well your fees your shipping your cost of like cost of packaging whatever logistics like, it, yeah come on like, ebay fees now realistically you got to think like you're not making 30 quid from if you're selling something for 70 for 40 quid like but nah. what can you do that's why we're kind of out. We're out of that because really, yeah, it's you can't make now. money from that. It's long. And it's Don't like, get me wrong. If Castleford came back where we were, <laughs> yeah. and it was clearance and Brexit weren't here, I'd probably still be there now. Like <laughs> we're doing a video, opening video. Yeah, what? yeah. It's um, yeah. I, I'm kind of gutted that because when we were doing the outlet shorts, reels, TikTok wasn't a thing, was it? That's no. relatively new. Yeah. I 100 percent wish I filmed more of it. Don't get me wrong. If you go down my Snapchat memories, I've got pictures of everything that I've bought but I wish I took more clips of it yeah. and stuff but just to almost relive the memories yeah, little, do you know what I mean yeah, yeah a little yeah, bit of a yeah. movie yeah because yeah. like, say we had all that footage now oh it would go crazy man it's yeah. like it's like when you hear stories of like the pat of chlorophylls like hitting outlets in Australia and stuff like yeah. that yeah, yeah, like yeah. or you can find like a grainy potato photo pair of Mars yards hit Cass Re fuck off one pair of Mars yards really and the early and Guess what? They escaped the staff because nobody knew what they were. It escaped all the bulk buyers. It came out in an afternoon when there were no bulk buyers in. And the only reason they knew the Mars Yards came in is, is because when the manager were checking the sales and transactions, it said Mars Yard. Who got who got them? Do you know oh, probably number? some random. Do you know how much they were? There won't have been much. Oh. They'll be priced at fifty-five. Yeah, there won't have been seventy quid. Like Air Max, it used to go Air Max seventy quid, and then anything yeah, else fifty-five, yeah, yeah. and then oh, if it were oh. Cork Burrows to be fair, or you, whatever. That what? reminds. I was going to say, um, <coughs> you know, like when the Air Force Twos, the Supreme Packs came out, like after quite a few years ago now, literally about two weeks after, I then went in on a Friday night, it was like, oh, I'll just take my brother, just why not, just see what there is. And I got the full the full pack times two, just in an outlet. I paid like, I think it was an average, like 20 quid a pair. What the fuck? And obviously they were like 100, you know, whatever it was. We used to flight. get dunks back then. Do you remember the pink box dunks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You they used them. to be in the outlet all the time, but dunks weren't hyped then. Yeah. So we used to sell them for 70 quid a pair. So you couldn't give dunks away. Right? You, oh, like you know what? Yeah. Mids. You, you Janoski Maxes used to sell more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Janoski's yeah. used to be more, yeah, yeah. and they're a bad show. Sold that, uh, <laughs> yeah. that Royal Keys outlet in like Newcastle. 
uh, when I was like, how, uh, how old was I? Fuck. Must be 19, 20. I walked in there, Dilla sold Dunk Lows. Oh, damn. Oh. £13 a pair. Fuck. Fully boxed. No, they weren't ripped, they were boxed. Wow. You, could, you could shut the box. Yeah. I like, I didn't even have a car at this time. Didn't even have a car. So I, I think I got like 15, 20 pairs in bags. Yeah. So I walked from Royal Keys to like Percy Main Met <laughs> Metro. I got, on the, I got on the Metro and like people are looking at us like, why has this kid got so many fucking shoes? You're bringing memories back because when we used to get a bus to the outlet, so oh, we'd buy God. 10 pairs of football boots each, we, have to, we used to have to go back to That's college. That's a hustle, man. Yeah, we yeah. used to get a 35 yeah. people, get on the bus with 10 bags and go into college and everyone's coming up to like, yeah. what you got, what you got? And yeah, we're yeah. like, fuck, if everyone oh. finds out about this, <laughs> yeah, we're done here. Thinking, so we used to go yeah. into a graphics design class who was a sound teacher, we're like, mate, can I just hide yeah. these behind your desk? Like, yeah, come get them at the end of the day. I'm a photography teacher. Yeah. She used to sort me out. Because like you say, when you see, when there's a lot of lads turning heads, like, why, they, you know, I've seen everyone knows there's a Nike Alley two minutes down the road. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's not that high to go there if you want to as soon as we got a car I didn't, I didn't want people to be like different and different game. we had to this was before we had a car so then yeah. we'd obviously get the bus to the outlet but to get to and from college to home you had to get a coach so we'd then oh. be there like fucking hell trying to get like <laughs> that's, a hustle, yeah, yeah, that's a hustle man yeah that's a hustle there were some long days but it but, was well worth and then obviously it, i'd man. come into my house my parents were like what have you got today and you're like well I've got this. What's that like the first time you, you rock it you oh, rock through I, the front door and you got because ten bags in each I had to basically was like to my parents, I was like, look, this is what's happening. This is the game plan. <laughs> and then they were like, obviously listening to like, basically I had to pitch them why I was like doing Like Dragon's this. Dead. <laughs> Almost, <laughs> I felt like it. I, I put the bags on the floor and they were like, why have you bought so much? And they're like, oh, why don't you start off with one pair? And I'm like, yeah, but if I start off with one pair, I'm not gonna make as much money. If I start off yeah. with three pairs, you get you get my gist. Yeah, yeah. So it just, then it went, they're like, yeah, why not? And then it just soon like flipped. So once they realized that actually he's selling them he's not yeah. holding them he's actually selling stuff and whatnot yeah i was quite lucky my parents were super sound yeah my parents worst thing was that i had to use my mum's ebay and you know as soon as someone puts a complaint in about a pair of shoes you are you've lost everything you've lost the shoes you've lost the money <laughs> you've got a negative feedback and my mum used to get so frustrated there were one guy that once bought some metal uh, studded football boots and he wore them an astroturf and they broke we proved that they were authentic with the receipt, blah, blah, blah. And it just ruined my mum's eBay. And she was like, right, I'm never doing it again. So then when you were before 18... What was your mum shot on an eBay, by the way? Oh, just all fucking like, old bags and like all that vintage. stuff. She was, <laughs> she, was she was shot in super flies for me. But, um, <laughs> yeah. But it's then when you create an eBay on a PayPal before you're 18... Oh, it's a nightmare, man. Yeah, it's no, a no, nightmare. nightmare. As soon as you send your... Like, even when you turn 18 and then they ask for ID... Then they lock it. Sh and they lock, lock it. it. Yeah, I remember I was like... 18, I had 1,200 quid in my PayPal. They locked it for six months, and I was just like, fucked. I had, that was like all my money. Shouldn't have kept it in the PayPal, but that six months. We've was all been there. Yeah. 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 We yeah. have. But, yeah. PayPal, they've got too much power. Too they, much they, power. Do. they do. They <laughs> do. Elon Musk still own. No, he, no, sold, he, sold, he sold it. He sold it, sold it a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. I mean, brother. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I, I, got, I, got I got stung on. I got stung last year. If, like, just shy of 500 quid. Yeah. Ship ship some shoes to some kid in America, lost the tracking, put a claim in, couldn't find the tracking. Oh, and wow. I bet they were delivered as he well. He got them. I know yeah. for a fact he got them. And I was just like, fuck. he's always that. I was guy. just like, I've, I've I've been turned over here. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, man. You can't do a thing. You try no. and ring them. You try and explain the like. You got the tracking number. No, you don't. You don't. No. You just got you got to take that L. Yeah. yeah you got to take that L. To learn you, it, you know what? It's a. It, and you know what? I'm like, I've been. I've been doing this for years and sometimes you'll still get that learning curve. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We've done that. Never stop learning. Never stop learning. 